So, uh, IO Safe Thunderbolt Rugged Portable, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug it in, we're gonna put a little data on it, and then we're gonna do some testing. Some, some Thunderbolt demo testing, sort of IO Safe style with real Thunderbolts. So, <laughs> Thunderbolt has a display port pass through, so plug in the, the data. I've got the monitor plugged in too, you notice the monitor popped up because I plugged into the pass through. And so, what we're going to do is open, open Finder so everyone can see it here. And this, this, is, this is the Thunderbolt drive, the IOSA rugged portable Thunderbolt drive. SSD Thunderbolt, doesn't have anything on it. Just going to take some data and move it on there. And anyone can drive if you feel more comfortable. If you'd like to drive, you are welcome. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Can I actually do it? Absolutely. There awesome. you go. All right. All right. Show me what so I can do. you can open up a Word doc. Do right. <laughs> you know how to use a Mac? Yeah, I awesome. So type. Well, I can type. Use your, uh, yeah, new. Voice. New doc. Alrighty. Type in anything you want. <laughs> Anybody else want anything to in? What do you type? Anything. What do you type? What's you she want type? What's she type? What do you type? Well, I'm gonna let me move your screen over to there. Well, fine. Make it <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm moving to the monitor. I'm letting go of the computer. You, it's it's confusing because you have to exit that way. Yeah. Anybody want this word doc to say anything in particular? Last will and testament. <laughs> Shocking demo. Uh, so you want me to just say the word? Yeah, type in last will and testament. So then, then do a uh, save as. You have to go. Remember, it's confusing because you have to exit. <laughs> and then do file. Do save as. Go. Uh, you have to scroll down here. Use your two fingers to scroll down to the bottom. There it is, right there. Name it anything you want. It's called IOSafe right now, but call it something more random than that. We are doomed. Hit save. Close it. <laughs> now, now eject it. Don't don't just yank your drive out of the ports, people. Okay, don't ever do that. Eject first. We get a lot of calls where people, my drive died. Yeah, it's that one. Unplug it. Uh, no, not yet. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Don't kill it before the demo even starts. So this is a special Thunderbolt cap that we've made. If anyone is in a Tesla, oh, oh, show that again, please. If anyone's in a Tesla environment, your sure, sure will enough. sell you a Thunderbolt cap just in case you're getting struck by lightning. But but what this does is it, is, is it covers the ports, it grounds out all the pins, and it helps build a Faraday cage around what we're testing, so kind of like you're in a very good pitch. Ready? So you want to, and then you you go hand that to Dr. Megabolt. Uh -huh. he's, he's way over here. And
forensically recover the data if we have to, on your behalf, that's all free. We'll even pull the chips off one at a time if we have to. We do everything we can. If you happen to be in a big Tesla coil accident, it may happen, <laughs> you never know. If you still live through it, maybe you still want your data, you know, and you happen to have an IOSafe device, that's all included, the data recovery service as part of the device. So let's go check it out and, and see how we do. The Solo, IOSafe Solo G3. This is a brand new Solo that we just came out with. It's a USB 3, has lots of air holes around it. I'll tell you why. This is the, the very first fireproof, waterproof drive that we've designed that doesn't need a fan to stay cool. We're using free convection cooling. It's kind of a chimney effect. It's pulling in air from the bottom, letting it flow out from the tops, flowing through all the fireproof insulation. It's also uh, waterproof aspects of the drive. It can survive 10 feet underwater, salt water for three days and keep your data safe. The interface and the board inside, they get damaged, but that's not the point. Your data's still on there. Your family photos are still on there. If you do have a fire or flood or some kind of uh, um, any accident, you accidentally deleted your data, virus, hard drive crash. If, if you have IOSafe data recovery services plus an IOSafe piece of hardware, we're going to get your data back. We're, we're going to try extremely hard to get your data back. We're not perfect, but we recover our, 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 our customers that have our hardware and our service are successful at retaining their data 99.99. 0.9904%. It's four nines. It's, it's, it's crazy good, I think, for a consumer product or a small business product. I think that uh, it's very difficult to achieve, but with disaster-proof hardware and, and our service, we do. So we're doing something new with our DRS. We're, we're simplifying it. The transition will happen this year. All our existing users can be upgraded for free. We're changing our DRS to be DRS Basic and DRS Pro. DRS Basic is going to be 99 cents per terabyte per month. 99 cents per terabyte per month. Very inexpensive. Compare it to other pure cloud-based data recovery services. And you'll see for a terabyte, it could be hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars to back up. So, our, our feeling is, is that if you're going to have, if you have one dollar, you should spend it with our stuff. If you have two dollars, you can do other things. Take it <laughs> off site, you can pump it up to the cloud. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a difficult, it's a difficult question to answer for anybody, and only you can answer it because you know how vulnerable you are. But we, we, wanna sh we want to really uh, stress that most of data is vulnerable, and uh, most of data sits outside the cloud, 70%. So that's where IOSafe belongs, protecting all the data that sits vulnerable on, the, on, uh, on planet Earth. Your laptop, uh, maybe your private cloud now data. Now we're here to see if the Thunderbolt drive survives. <laughs> the Thunderbolt. It's, uh, From it doesn't look as shiny as it did before this whole incident. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's plug it in. So can I get the back off? Oh, yeah. That's a little bit dirty now. <laughs> so you gotta. Well, it's coming up. You gotta. Computing is about patience. Awesome. Is it possible? <laughs> so you gotta open Finder. It's glowing. The lights on. So that's, lights. A, that's a good and sign. And the, the right? monitor's working. The pastor's working. Alright, so that's a good sign. <laughs> it's not showing mm. up though. Yeah, that's not good. Um, okay. <laughs> did I plug them in in the wrong order? Uh, awesome. You mind if you don't just yank? Go ahead. This is the part I always love, right? The part of the demo. Where you actually put power? No. <laughs> Let's see if you have a magic touch it takes to make this work. All right, well, data recovery is included in IOSafe. Um, you guys want to see live data recovery? 
Yeah, I see you have all the tools of the trade, the standard tools of the trade. Okay. I'm going to do my, I'm gonna do my best. But yeah, the wrench really should come should in be, handy. This should be done in a clean the hammer. room. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Houston, you have a mission. You wanna you wanna come over? I think you better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet. We gotta see if there's data on there. Progress though. Control, command, tab, switch to switch to finder. Higher safe drive. We see the drive this time, so yeah. that's a good sign. Uh I don't have the okay, data. No uh, the second screen is not going to do it. Oh, no, 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 That was the closest ever of not, <laughs> of not recovering. I'm sorry it took so long, but um, you know, if you're trying to stream it online, it would take maybe a month or two. <laughs> uh, recovery time objective was three, four minutes, five, felt like 20, 80, probably at least 10. So the point of this demo, everybody, is not a million volt bolts going through your data and IOSafe being able to protect against that, it's not designed for it. 
this is about your own data. This is about you protecting yourself. And the point of the data is for you to feel data loss, for you to understand what's, what it's like, what it feels like. And, and IOSAFE is, we, we are so committed to make sure that you don't you lose your data. We're just gonna do everything we can. And so uh, I wanna thank everybody for coming today's, to today's demonstration. Our sponsors, Synology and Dr. Megavolt and KL Securities. Uh, thank you, thank you for making this demo possible. And that's our demo. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Good job, Rob. <laughs> Protect yourself before you wreck yourself, right? <laughs>